Hello. Hello to all the Venom fans. <laughs> We're very happy to be here chatting with you and to Ice, Ice Magazine, Magazine subscribers. This world can't survive if you stay together. Let's finish this. Uh, well, the one isn't there, and the other one is actually there. So, um, fundamentally, I, I guess for for me as a, an, an actor, is Venom is a is literally uh, from the imagination because he turns up much later in the process. Uh, during the filming, he he presents literally as, as a voice. So Eddie is also uh, Eddie is free in some aspect because he's working to a pre-recorded. Um, vocal and an earpiece but it's a joy playing them both because they're very different one is you know venom is like uh, self will run riot bombastic and animalistic and primal and joyful and fun and and in counter to that i like to play eddie as a bit of a a bit of a coward and a bit of a play safe um bat double kind of guy because you get them uh, get a good range out of the two of them i think to to to, to be clear about who's who it's a it's a peculiar sp uh, space. Uh, it's hard to like like to, to say what a producer is in some aspects. There's many different variables on it. But for me, it gave me access to all access to all areas and departments to understand and have a language with everything, right? And understand from casting through to design, writing, who's who at Sony, uh, who's on the floor. Just have a, an access and a fluidity of movement to understand the project, so I could immerse deeply within it, not just turn up and pull some faces and leaves. Yeah, it is it's sort of weirdly like a, uh, a classic romantic comedy. They meet, they break up, they get back together and they realise that they actually want to be together. And then obviously in this movie, they find out that the being together is the thing that's probably going to destroy our world. So it's a bit Casablanca in a way. Um, they finally reach symbiosis and now um, they may not be able to, to actually stay together in the end. It was the script, really, you know, Kelly sent me the script and, uh, and we started talking about Strickland and I was just really excited. You know, I was first of all excited about, about Kelly and, you know, her not only writing the film but directing it. I knew how passionate she was about it and, um, and so I was excited to read and engage with it on that level and then I just found it an incredible sort of page turner. But these really great moments and, uh, and really great kind of conversations, great scenes that Rex would have, especially with Dr. Payne that Juno plays. Um, so I, I was really excited about it. I mean, I, again, I think starting from a place of just having Kelly reach out and knowing how much this story and, and Venom character with Eddie really mean to Tom and Kelly and and also having been such a fan of, of Venom myself personally, and I just kind of weirdly related with the Eddie Venom relationship with this kind of inside voice that I I really loved. And then reading the script, I found it exactly like Chiwetel said, such a page turner. And some pages you were gasping, some pages you really felt emotional, and then some you were laughing out loud. And getting to work with the cast that I got to work with is something that I am still in awe of. And, and so it really kind of pushed your acting chops but at the same time left you in awe like a kid too so it was kind of a real good um combination i like the frog the frog yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, were you gonna say that too for me the frog was so unexpected me too like, and also because it took like... a moment to pause as a frog <laughs> it's yeah. like oh i like, like this I was, a little. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the frog was enjoying himself yeah Working with Chiwetel. Working with Juno, definitely. Um, and also getting to be in a lab like that, that was a, a set designed by an incredible group of, you know, set designers, but it actually worked. But it also feels really intimate and it feels really personal. Um, and I think that that was, um, you know, by design, you know, I think it is, it is really intimate and really personal for, for Kelly and Tom. And um, so it was you know, wonderful to be kind of part of that. Yeah. We're really sad. 
<laughs> yeah, it's bittersweet. We, 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 we like had like the best part of a decade, seven, seven mm -hmm. or eight years uh, working together on this, and sad to see it go because we've grown as um, we've grown doing it. And yeah, we love doing it, it mm -hmm. and with it, and but also we found a massive love for building worlds together now. So. You know, it's a, it's a good, it's a great moment as well to pivot and uh, and look at what else is out there. And we're definitely happy that we got to finish it our way. Like this is definitely this this third one in the trilogy is definitely the way that we envisioned it from the beginning. And we've been really lucky that the studio allowed us to see it all the way through um, to this conclusion, which means a lot to us. Yeah. Epic, intimate, and emotional. Bam. <laughs> Come see it. Bye. Bye, Ice, Ice magazine. magazine. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Long answer. <laughs> Sorry. 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 You're welcome. <laughs> well, how was the interview with us, the Ice Magazine? Because this is the only interview with Korean media. I heard of that. So, oh, it's been great. Fantastic. Definitely. Get more. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want so, more, maybe you're happy that it's the only one, but uh, yeah, I don't know.